What's going on, everybody? So we have a bunch of things to talk about in terms of events and things going on with the new patch notes released. And this could not have come at a better time. It is currently 3 a.m. But you can see here, <laughs> I have just so, so many pieces of gear in my mail. Um, they're just everywhere because I just capped out on my inventory and uh, I was like, you know, what? I'll just wait till tomorrow. And that's what I did. So we're going to go ahead and jump into our bag here and see what we could do. So there's this manage equipment button. I'll show you guys here um, in the bottom left. Oh, that way. You're going to click on that button and then it looks like it pops up this screen. You can disassemble equipment and exactly what I wanted. You could go ahead and pick rare, elite, epic. Um, actually, I'll shrink myself down even more, but you could see this. You're going to pick the quality and I'm going to pick all of it, obviously, because no one uses these gear pieces anymore. Auto select. I can only choose 99 at a time. OK, um, and then we just keep doing it, I guess. Uh, uh, I guess I'm not sure why they, they put a cap on it. Not really sure why, but uh, I guess. OK, um, that's that's pretty much it. That's really cool. I still understand why there's a, there's a cap, but this is far better than what I'd previously be doing. So I'm happy about that. And now I can go ahead and jump into my mail and actually pick up all this random trash gear. Look at all this, all the random stuff in my mail arena rewards. And yeah, so this is going to be amazing, guys. I'm very curious to see how much this helps the game continue onwards, because I think this is actually a, was a big problem that people were really annoyed about. And I can totally understand why, because I was annoyed about it myself. But that's not the only thing. The next thing I want to talk about is the hero, the new hero in the Wenfear category, Reseris. Now, we already went through our abilities, so that's not necessarily what I want to do today. I want to see her multipliers and her base attack. So we have 15.5k here on Reseris. If we compare that to, let's say, Emma, that is the same. So she's got a similar base attack to Emma, and Emma has, has a really solid base attack. So that's really, really good news. We have um, extra 200% attack speed or 200 attack speed allows Reseris to cast one additional missile. Each missile deals 200% attack. Base attack skills now target two different enemies. It also increases Reseris by 200 attack speed. One man magic wave dealing 250% damage. And then what does their passive do? All allies here, all allied heroes receive 100. And then if you have the hunter bonus, I believe it doubles. Um, deals true damage equal to 30% of the attack. So actually pretty good multipliers here. I really like this, the extra two trade damage and extra attack speed. That's actually gonna be pretty big. If you just compare that again, if you just use Emma as another example, because Emma is one of the more prominent characters that a lot of people own, you can see here that you're going to need 200 bonus attack speed to actually get the extra arrow. Um, so it's not quite there, but I believe again, that it doubles for hunter characters. So I think that's one additional arrow for Emma, which is actually a big deal. So overall, pretty cool. I think she's going to be pretty good. I would like to summon for her and test her out at a low mythic level. I really want to test her out and see how she does with other hunters, especially in some guild boss comps and things like that. I don't think she's going to be particularly great in storyline or anything like that. We also have the Rise of Heroes event going on, which is just a selection now. So if we go to the raffle shop, looks like we get the custom hero shards. And those custom hero shards are going to be able to give you one of these six characters right here, which is pretty cool. I don't think they added any new boss, right? Nope. But then we have the new events, which is just going to be the dude, the new but details gather, new Kamuzo's bell, um, limited pack, the new character, as well as the new Sorvali banner. But more importantly than any of that, we now have Disa Caves 17. Um, Oh, three new series, so 18 is what I should say. And I'm just curious here. I'm going to run in with a pr my same comp. Um, let's see here. So on the exclusive stages, I'm going to say exclusive. We have the boss's earth shield is enhanced. Only basic attacks or skills that trigger base attack effects can, from heroes can break the shield. 
okay so this is something like the hunters are going to be very very valuable the number of bosses is increased huh that's strange okay exclusive two and exclusive three difficulty will now have two bosses okay the energy recovered allied heroes is greatly reduced that's pretty important um they now drop exclusive or exclusive difficulty stages now drop the two new sets um and the exclusive difficulty dropped legendary equipment stats adjusted main stats and secondary sets of all pieces can no longer have bonus attack defense or hp wait main stats and secondary stats of all pieces can no longer have bonus attack defense or hp so no flat stats anymore that's actually pretty big that's huge actually um secondary stats gain attack speed and main stats of boot pieces can no longer have resistance but gain attack speed interesting so i'm not sure you want attack speed boots on but maybe we'll have to go through that i'm actually just going to try it out here see how it fares i'm just going to run in with a standard hunter team um just to see what it's like you know run taylor i haven't even messed around with this team at all um so i guess i can run north Dion in this situation right it's triple hunter and we'll see what goes on here so normally this is incredibly easy right but we'll see if it's you know as easy as we say so the energy recovery let's pay attention to how bad it is compared to what it is before and yeah so wow we just got nuked that's because normally during that stage you actually get energy recovery constantly so that's actually a pretty big nerf um in terms of how easy it is so i don't think northion's the pick here try Sorverly. um i could use daniel potentially or old john i guess um let's try it with old john just to throw in someone there that you know is newer and uh, is a hunter very curious potentially could be interesting so now we have the ultis coming out from everyone i wonder if the old john uh does enough not quite so there's four hits left so we need more multi hits here and more attack speed rolling so let's try sorvely here by the way who else could i do i could do a Kalaza, maybe a summoner type character like daniel even let's just do daniel actually if not we could try sorvely after but sorvely is not really upgraded for me we'll have to see here Let's see if Daniel's bear is going to be able to knock it out for us. No, not quite. Interesting. So we need a lot of multi hitters, a ton of multi hitters. So we're just going to have to run with Sorvely, I think. See if this works. I actually don't know if Falvia's ultimate uh, works as multi hits because I never had to test it, right? It's always so easy to break the shield. Maybe we try Falvia if this does not work. But normally, uh, Sorietta is going to be a pretty nice option as well. One left. One little node left. Hmm. Let's try Falvia here, actually. This is very interesting. Very interesting. Obviously, I'm not, like, really trying to min-max. I'm just showcasing, like, a couple characters here. I haven't really, like, you know, I guess, gone through the abilities and see, on a, see if I could really build a comp out just seeing if i could really easily accomplish it falvia is definitely not the choice here so then we need another multi-hitter um whoops that's not what i meant to do let's retry this and see if i have anyone else that's really going to be good job at multi-hitting could use potentially a summoner I guess Ravenna is going to be a nice option, right? She's going to get a couple multi hits in. Can also potentially use Rez in terms of resetting like Emma's ultimate uh, or Bot Mark 2's ultimate. But maybe uh, Ravenna is the ideal situation going on here because she's going to go ahead and get the ulti off plus three cone hits. Not in time though. Hmm. How many hits does Bot Mark 2 to have real quickly? I want to check this just so I can figure out who I would want to use Res with. So Bot Mark 2 has seven rounds and Emma has 
six, I believe, right? Assuming I don't have any additional attack speed. Yeah, so six uh, crossbow hits, plus every 200% attack speed, which, you know, she's gonna get extra attack uh, damage plus extra attack speed. So I guess Emma would be the way to go. Let's just go ahead and do Emma and see if the res combo is going to help out Emma a lot. Funny, Emma just raised in value a lot. Let's try uh, res here though. Where is my res? There he is. Um, we're gonna roll him in. I should probably swap this out as well. Actually, I probably should use a uh, flash point here just for the extra damage, I guess. Um, let me see here. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Now, I might have to manual this, honestly. We might have to manual res, making sure that he's going to apply the ultimate at the proper time. So you can see here, we're basically going to get one refresh of the ultimate. You can see how the energy is just completely gone. Um, so we're going to get the ulti out and then res should be able to accelerate Emma again and then ulti again and that did work so that does work um that is going to be probably the way to go here is res um other than that i mean just a ton of multi hits after you get through that first phase right it's gonna be pretty easy um so now res did just ulti and so did emma but now we're getting all the ultis out and then Emma did not ult. Ooh, that was close. That was very close. Um, I don't think I care about the, the healing. It really just matters about getting through that shield, right? It All we need is the multi-hits to get through the shield. I'm trying to remember if there's another really good multi-hitter that I'm forgetting about. Very, very quick battle, but we did get crit rate, crit damage, accuracy. You know, with the new set, maybe I'll keep that. I'm not going to keep that one. So first stage done, I guess since we're here and I know I wasn't going to do in-depth testing, but we may as well just jump in and see what's going on with the second boss. Um, so with this second boss, are, do we have to hit both of them or what's going on here? Mezrani is taking an absolute beating here. So we have 16 hits per, I'm guessing. Or what's going on here? Yeah, so we get we have to do some AOE shenanigans. Huh. This is very strange. So maybe I go with like Taylor uh and Ravenna. Wow, this is super interesting actually. Let's take Bot Mark 2 out. Let's put in Ravenna. Ravenna's probably gonna be a pretty good option for these exclusive two and three stages, just for the fact that she's gonna be multi-hitting as well as hitting, um, you know, with big hits, as well as just scaling up throughout the battle. I think it's gonna be pretty nice. So right here, we have the 20 hits. We need 20 hits. Mezrani is already dead. Crazy how big the damage numbers are on this. Yeah, interesting. So we're gonna have to do some testing on this. I'm not gonna sit here forever for the whole video, but I think you guys get the point. That exclusive one is pretty tough, guys. And honestly, that's kind of exciting. You know, it's not just a walk in the park. The damage on them is pretty insane. I think I'd have to re-gear my MS Ronnie for better HP and defense gear if I wanted him to survive. Um, because it's been, you know, a few weeks for me to re-gear, because I don't have some time to re-gear everyone. But that's really, really cool. I'm very excited about that. The new dungeon stages look pretty exciting and they're pretty tough. Uh, so I'll probably have a video out coming out talking about exclusive to exclusive three. Uh, Disa caves and whether or not some strategies are working for me and which ones are not because I'll probably have to set us some aside some time to test it out So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below If you guys enjoyed, you know, the new character or you're summoning for her. Let me know as well And I'll see you all for the next video